Hi guys, I'm back in Brighton now, back at uni. I've got set my exam project for my third year, which I'm so nervous about. That means that a lot of time is going to have to be spent on that, so I'm not going to be able to make as many videos as I want, but I'll definitely make time for at least maybe like one a week or something, or more if I've got the time. So I'm quite conscious about this video because I never usually really wear my hair up, especially in a middle part in. I kind of feel like I've got a really big forehead, so I don't really like to draw too much attention to it but I watched a tutorial online on YouTube and I'll link it down below for this kind of hairstyle she kind of put it in two buns at the back and I kind of just just pinned it together I don't know if you can even see it but I mean I'm quite happy with it I haven't done braids like this in such a long time so it took me ages to really try and get my head around it I've decided today to do my pug video so, because obviously I have two homes, I live here in Brighton at uni and then I live in Southampton with my parents, some of my stuff is dotted between the two houses, so I'd say this is just the majority of my pug collection, I'd say. So, if you don't like pugs and you don't think you're going to be interested, then maybe don't watch, but I think it'll be really nice and it's a cute little video of just some bits that I have. But I'll start off with my mugs. Yes, plural. So, first I have this mug, which is so cute. It's like a little pug and he's got a hat on and it's a cake. Um, because my dad works for Three, the mobile phone company, and that's their, I think it's like their little logo-y advertising thing. So, that's where I got that from. The thing is, I don't even drink tea, so I'm not really sure. I just, just like them. They're more like a decoration at the moment. My other mug is the one that I showed in my first video, I think it was, and it's this one. And it is just the cutest thing. It is so hard to drink out of. Like, on Christmas Day, I was drinking out of this, and it is not the easiest shapes, but it's got the cutest little tail, and I do love it. Talking of Christmas Day, I got this from my boyfriend on Christmas Day. And he also bought me two other things for Christmas that were pug related. And I'm telling you right now, I spent the whole day drinking out of this and wearing these next two items. So first of all, he got me these gloves, which have been a lifesaver because it's been so cold. But they're these gloves and they have pugs on them. Let me turn it the right way around. And they have ears and they are so cute. This I was wearing all day, which is this. It's a beanie with a pug on it. I'm not, I don't want to put it on. I don't want to ruin my hair, but I love this hat. I've worn it out a couple of times to the shops and I've had people double taking me. They must be thinking, what is that? But I can't help it. I do really love it. Oh my laptop bag so I have to take this whenever I take my laptop around anywhere it has to come in this <laughs> it's just the cutest thing I just think I'm trying to look all professional with my laptop and trying to do work on the train or whatever and then I get this out and people must just think oh my goodness I mean I look about 12 as it is so that probably doesn't help but anyway, I love it. So I recently bought these from Primark. And they are pugs and they have glasses on and I don't know what else you want in a sock but I just think they are so cute and look how tiny my feet are. <laughs> I have size three feet so normally socks come up to, so this part of the sock normally comes up to about here on the over the top of my ankle, which is always fun. Um, but these are just so cute. Look how tiny they are. And I've got another pair. And I've got loads more. And I think I must have. They must be in the wash at home in Southampton. But I've got these ones as well. This came in a pack of three from Primark as well, maybe. But it says Puggy Love on them. And those are just so cute. So this is another thing. I got this for Christmas. I picked it out. And my mum bought it and wrapped it up. I love this top. As I said in my first video, I am only five. Uh, four foot ten five foot ten I wish so I'm only four foot ten so I do frequently shop in children's sections in clothes just because they fit me better so this is from the children's section in Matalan and it says bar humpug on it and I just thought that was so cute 
And what age is this? This is age 16. This is like a baggy top on me. It's age 16. I love it anyway. So I don't know how interesting this video is gonna be. I think it's hilarious. And if I was on YouTube, I would definitely watch this video. So I'll just carry on. So more pug things. I also have a collection of pillows. So this is pillow number one. And I think, I haven't got the label anymore, but I have a feeling it was from Tesco. So like Tesco home. And my final pug related item is probably my favourite, probably. The most favourite thing I've got here by far, and I wear this all the time, and it's this. It's my pug jumper. And I know it's massive, but it is so comfy. I wear this all the time as like a comfy jumper, especially because my house can get so cold. This is a lifesaver. And it's so cute. I have another pair of um, pug pyjamas, but I've left them at home in Southampton. But I don't know if any of you watch Zoella, but she wore them in her Getting Ready With Me video. Um, they're just long sleeved shirt and pyjama bottoms with pugs on. I also love French Bulldogs. I just think those two types of dogs, they're just so like, not ugly, but that's like why they're cute. So. Anyway, I just love French Bulldogs and that little noise they make, that little gruffly noise is so cute. So, first of all, I have my glasses case. And for Christmas, my boyfriend also got me this. I'm going to close it because it's so filthy inside. But it's this French Bulldog makeup bag. And this is Ted Baker. So, you know, it's not like a cheap um, makeup bag, but it was obviously a gift, so that's why it's a bit more expensive but I absolutely love it it's kind of got like it's kind of glittery as well and then you've got the front and the back and then you've got the like really nice Ted Baker label another pillow which is French Bulldog and it is so cute and it's this one and it's like the big one and the baby one <laughs> he's so fat and it's so cute so I love those I feel like there's loads of other bits that I have around the house that are pug related but at this moment in time I can't find them and they're probably in my drawer somewhere. So there's one other pug item I have and I can't believe I forgot it because I look at it every day, it's on the back of my phone and it's this pug case. I don't think this is like a full pug, I think it's like a cross but it's so cute. After all of that and saying that I probably would forget some things I have and I thought I have to mention them because one of my best friends bought me this and it is so cute so that's how well my friends know me it's this it is a tea infuser shaped like a pug and then the best bit he sits like on your mug so I'm gonna put him over this side and it's like pug with another pug I just sound like such a weirdo, but I just think they're so cute. I've begged my dad to buy me one, but I already have two dogs at home, and they're like really big Rhodesian Ridgeback dogs. I don't know how they would feel about a tiny little snorting pug coming into the house. And I don't actually live at home at the moment, so there'd be no point. But I am coming home this September, so... Who knows, maybe for my 23rd birthday in September, I might get a pug. Dad? The other thing I have is something my mum bought me for my birthday, and I, and so my birthday was September and it's now nearly March. And I have never worn these because <laughs> they are cute, and I do love pugs, but I mean, I don't think I could ever wear these, like seriously. And they're that kind of like, I don't know, I don't even know what material you'd call it, but that elasticy material. I just don't think they'd be the most flattering of trousers. And I don't know what anybody would say if I actually wore these. So there's one last thing I've got for pugs, which I can't show you here because I cannot bring my bed over here. So I'll take the camera over there. So this is my bed. And look at my bedding. Um, I'm still not sure about my hair. If anybody wants like a hair tutorial or anything, let me know in the comment box and I'll definitely think about doing one of those, although I quite struggled with it. The girl in the video said it was simple, but it definitely took me a while 
and it was quite hard. I just bought today a tripod for my Canon camera. While I was at home, the one thing I needed to remember was the charging cable for it. And did I remember it? No, it was the one thing I left at home, so I will be getting that this weekend. But yeah, so this is just a quick little video, quite a fun little random video on pugs. I just thought I'd share with you how obsessed I am. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you like the rest of my videos. Please, if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you like all my videos and you want to see more, then please subscribe to my channel. I do really, really appreciate it. Thank you.